Hello guys, my name's Brad Carter. I'm a local chef from Moseley in Birmingham. I'm gonna be cooking a comfort classic originates from the West Midlands, Birmingham, faggots. Using some cheaper cuts of meat, uh, we're actually using pork, some pork offal. We're gonna wrap them in traditional coal fat and then we're gonna serve a couple of types of vegetables to go along with it. Um, so the whole process, instead of buying faggots from the shop in a little container, we're gonna make it the whole process uh, and then braise them really slowly in the oven to fill the room with anticipation for faggots that are coming later for dinner tonight. So let's get cooking. So traditional faggots uh, are made with these ingredients. So first of all, we've got pork mince. So this is uh, from the belly uh, of the pig and also some from the shoulder. We've got about 500 grams of that. There's some pig's liver and pig's heart. So traditionally faggots are made with, uh, with offal. Um, offal is an anagram for all fallout. So we use everything from the beast uh, when it's killed. Uh, some people might go, oh, you know, offal, but it's, you know, if we kill the animal, we use the whole thing. And actually there's some, it's lean, lean protein uh, offal. So it can be really, really healthy and really good for you. We're gonna make basically a meatball out of these ingredients. And we're gonna spice it with some black pepper, uh, some allspice, thyme, some chopped sage, we're also going to cook some uh, onions. We're going to cook them in a little bit of butter uh, and then add them to the mix. And then just uh, pack out the, uh, the mix with some uh, stale breadcrumbs and a little bit of milk. Turn them into uh, meatballs and then wrap them in this cool fat. Cool fat's an interesting ingredient. So this is uh, the inside stomach lining of a pig. Uh, really cool. Uh, ask your butcher for this. Butchers tend to have this. Um, and you'll get it in sheets and that's what you help to uh, wrap the faggots. Uh, the traditional way of doing it is with coal fat. Um, that, it helps to protect them while they're cooking, keeps them moist and actually uh, keeps them in, in the ball shape as well. Um, to go with the faggots, we're gonna braise them in a traditional kind of gravy with some onions, which we're gonna uh, cook down beforehand, um, and then add some malt vinegar to flavor the, uh, to flavor the gravy as well. Uh, braise the faggots in that gravy, and then serve them with some lovely uh, classic mushy peas and some uh, Swiss chard, which is uh, really, really seasonal at the moment. If anyone's got allotments or has access to, uh, to locally grown uh, veg, then you'll see Swiss chard. This is the purple variety. We're just gonna use the stems uh, along with the peas um, and have a classic faggot dinner with a little twist and a, a little healthier version. Okay, step one for the faggots. Uh, we've got to dice an onion and cook it in some butter uh, that's to add to the meatball mix itself, uh, the faggot mix, and then they'll chop the herbs. So first thing to do, we're gonna chop an onion. So best way, top and tail, straight down the centre, leave a little bit of the root on. Uh, it keeps the onion together when you're chopping it. Peel back the onion, and then we're just gonna dice it. Um, don't have to be too chefy, too kind of, too kind of fine. But you know, the finer we go, the nicer the uh, end result. So this is the root end. So if you, I'm right-handed, so you cut some slices in, and then we go across the middle, and that's going to give us our small cubes when we dice through. Again. So we're gonna saute this off in a little bit of butter. Saute just means slowly fry, uh, really carefully just to uh, cook the onion through. And then obviously that'll go into the finished meatball mix. Faggot mix. Uh, yeah, faggot's a big uh, black country origin, Birmingham. Um, so it's really nice to be able to, uh, to cook it at home from scratch. All of the uh, ingredients in faggot as well, quite, accessible uh, if you've got a good local butcher it's always better to go to them um, anyway but they'll always kind of have these things that they can pop through the mincer for you and uh, arrange so chopping the onion one whole onion this is a base layering up the flavor now to the faggots uh, obviously onions are the staple of uh, a lot of cooking, especially the classic comfort things like this. So once you've chopped through, 
and your onion resembles this. It's gonna be good to get it on the stove, cook it out in a little bit of the butter with some of the herbs. Okay, we've got our onion chopped, completely chopped down there, so it's nice and fine. As fine as you can go, you know, without injuring yourself or whatever. And the next thing to do is to chop the sage. Sage goes really, really well with pork. Uh, the best way for me to chop it, that I think, is to pile up the leaf shape, like that, so they're all even. And then cut through. Again, as fine as you can. It's quite a hardy leaf, so the finer you, you cut it, the better it will cook. Uh, sage grows all through the winter. If anyone's got it in the garden, it will go all the way through, through December, January, February, all the colder months. So nice and thin like that. Can add that to the onions. Just gonna cook that out uh, on the stove with the, with the onions. That'll obviously scent the onions that are gonna go into the faggots. We've got about 10 sage leaves there. Uh, that'll be about perfect for this mix. Nice and fine, tuck them fingers in. So now the next stage is to fry off the onions and the sage in the butter. So we've got 50 grams of butter. That's gonna go into the pan, medium heat. Just gonna start melting that butter down. Try not to burn it at all. Uh, that'll just go brown and nutty. That's not what we're looking for with this. And then we're gonna add the onions and the sage that we chopped. This is, like I said, layering base flavor into the meatballs, into the faggots. Birmingham meatballs. And then we're just gonna slowly cook the onions in the butter with the sage. Not too hot, you don't want it frying at this point. You just want it just to be, just ticking over nicely, bringing the natural sugars of the onions out. So once your onions are all coated in the butter, you're just gonna pop a little lid on your pan. Uh, that'll help create a little bit of steam in there as well, cook the onions through a little bit quicker. We're not looking for any color at this stage, we're just looking to flavor the faggots. Okay, so the onions and sage have been cooking in the butter for around four to five minutes. And when they look like this, translucent, cook through with no color. Translucent just means that they've gone clear. Uh, they've got no brown color at all from the butter. The butter's saturated into the onions. Cook them right the way through because the lid's helped with the steam and some sage in there. Smells amazing already. And that's them ready. They can go off into the bowl to cool down, ready for the next stage with the, with the rest of the ingredients being added. Now the onions are cooked off in the butter with the sage, it's time to make the faggots. So what we're gonna do is take the onions from the pan and add them to the bowl. Uh, they should be cool by now. Um, if you wanna cool them down quicker, uh, you can always just pour them out uh, onto a flat tray just to cool down really quick. So we've got the onions in the bowl, they're nice and cool. Uh, the rest of the meat more faggot ingredients are the pork mince, the liver and the heart from the same pig, some breadcrumbs, milk, and then the spices and seasonings. So we're gonna start with the meat because that's the biggest weight. So that's around 500 grams. We're gonna add that in. Next, the liver and the heart. We're gonna get that in as well. Uh, like I said, the butcher will mince these things for you. If you pop into the butchers, local butchers, your trusted one, and just say uh, you're after some um, pig's offal, heart and liver, you want it minced. I'm sure they'll put it through for you. So we've got the meat from the belly, the shoulder, and the heart and the liver. That's mixed with the onions. You can see now it's starting to look a little bit more like a faggot. You can see at this stage as well, the meat will be quite wet. So that's where the breadcrumbs comes in a little bit later on. So that's gonna uh, help stiffen the mix up. So when they go into the cold fat skins, they don't um, 
disintegrate, they hold together. Same as what you'd add to any kind of sausage. Uh, next, we've got two teaspoons of black pepper. So that goes in, I like a little bit of spice in the baguettes personally. Um, there's a tablespoon of thyme. So we strip the thyme leaves off the stalk and left them whole. There's a teaspoon there of uh, mixed spice and nutmeg. They're mixed together, so a teaspoon in total. So we're just gonna mix that through. So satisfying making the comfort classics yourself. Um, things that you know and love. Okay, start to mix everything together now. Last uh, but not least, salt. There's six grams here, I'm gonna add all of that. Um, with a faggot mix, you can always test it out uh, in a pan first. Uh, just take a little bit of the mix, test it in a pan, just see if you're happy with the seasonings. I've made this quite a lot, so I'm quite uh, happy to just go, go, go with this. And um, this is my recipe, but you know, very tweakable. If you like a certain spice, you could add that, no problem, as long as it goes with the flavor profile of the pork. The next stage, the breadcrumbs. So this is where the mix is gonna start to firm up. It's around about 100 grams of breadcrumbs and some fresh milk, 100 mil of that. So that's gone in as well. And then I'm gonna to switch to my hand, just cause it'll be a little bit easier to mix now. And this is where it really starts to resemble faggots and a sausage, sausage mix. Technically very similar. You can see now, it's a lovely, lovely mix of uh, pork, the pork offal. A little bit more breadcrumb there. Should be around about 115 total. And that is the faggot mix. So the next thing we're gonna do is shape it into the cold fat uh, to create the faggot shapes and then we're gonna fry them up before we braise them in the oven. Okay, so now the faggot mix is made, uh, the next thing to do is to wrap them in the cold fat, ready for sealing off and then braising in the oven. So we've got the mix here and the cold fat. Cold fat's what we touched on earlier, so the, the line of the pig stomach. So we're gonna take a sheet like this. Again, like I said, feels like a specialist, but all butchers kind of have this stuff. So you just need to ask for it. And we're gonna cut off enough cold fat to wrap each of the faggot. So you might have a little thick piece there. We're just gonna leave that to the side. Take this thinner sheet, this outer sheet, take a nice dumpling size amount of the, uh, the mix, whatever you want, however big you want them out of the faggots, this size or a little bit smaller. And then carefully wrap the faggot up. If you've got a little bit too much excess like I have there, just trim that off. Wrap the faggot up. Turn it on the side where you folded the cool fat. And there you got a lovely little homemade faggot. So repeat that until all the mix is gone. We're gonna get around about 12 faggots out of that. Nice and looking. Obviously you could feed up to four with this recipe or you could uh, make them and freeze them for another time. I know a lot of faggots are sold, sold like that, so that's cool. So now we've shaped all the faggots, wrapped them in cold fat. The next thing we need to do with them is pop them into the fridge for around 10 to 12 minutes, just to firm up a little bit before we uh, add them to a hot pan. Uh, the reason we do this, the cold fat can easily split and open up, just like a sausage skin would. So the best thing we need to do is to put them in the fridge, that'll just firm them up ever so slightly, even the freeze of five minutes, uh, and that'll allow us to cook them in the best possible way in a hot pan later on. While the faggots are in the fridge firming up, we can start on the gravy. So we're gonna make a traditional onion gravy, uh, slice the onions, and we're gonna add some beef stock, 
or you can add chicken stock, pork stock, uh, vegetable stock. Go for beef because it's a richer flavour. And we're going to braise it around the faggots. Obviously, all the faggot flavour will go into that as well. And then we're going to season it with some malt vinegar, which is a classic combination with faggots uh, and mushy peas, and some brown sugar. And we're going to thicken it with a little bit of flour, so like a tr very traditional gravy. Uh, store cupboard ingredients, you know, that you definitely have in the house, in the cupboard, ready to go. Less shopping, less expenditure. So this time, instead of chopping the onions really, really fine, we're gonna chop them into half moon slices. That's gonna allow them to cook really, really slowly, caramelize slowly, and give that deep base flavor to the, uh, to the gravy. Same again, just moving the root and the top, peeling off the skin on the outside. Okay, so we're left with onion halves. Next, we're gonna slice them. So we're gonna go this way, across the onion, not this way. The reason we're going this way is because we get thinner, shorter slices. That's my preference, to be honest. Either way is gonna work fine. So we've got two onions. We're gonna chop all of them. The faggot mix gave us 10 to 12 faggots, depending on the size. Um, so two onions with 500 uh, mil of stock is gonna be ample for the, uh, for the dish. Want a nice, rich, sticky gravy at the end that comes out of the same pan as the faggots out of the oven. Okay, all the onions are chopped for the gravy. We've got the stock, we've got about 500 ml uh, beef stock I've got, some brown sugar, soft brown sugar, malt vinegar and some flour, and that's how we're gonna make the gravy to go around the faggots. Now the faggots have been resting in the fridge to firm up so that they don't split in the pan. It's been around about 10, 12 minutes. We're gonna start sealing them off. This is just for color. We're gonna finish them off by braising them in the oven slowly for around an hour. At this point as well, we want to set our oven to 160 degrees on a fan oven or gas smart four. So take some oil into a medium hot pan. I'm just going to pour that around. This pan is going to be valuable now. We're going to use it again to start off the gravy after we've coloured off all the faggots. So one by one, however many faggots we're cooking is what we're going to colour off. Like I said earlier, if you want to keep some back and freeze them, that's cool. All the meat's nice and fresh, so that'll work really well. And you can go back to a really quick dinner another time. So now we're just slowly caramelizing the faggots on the outside, just to seal in that amazing meaty flavor. And the cool fat is gonna keep them really moist when they go in the oven. So I want a medium kind of heat. Not too hot. If it's too hot, the skins will split on the cold fat and all the meat will start coming out and we don't want that. You want to keep that meat trapped inside the cold fat, keep it moist. You can see there's a little sizzle in the pan, but it's not ferociously hot. That's the most important thing at this stage. When all of the faggots start to color, that's when you can flip them over and do the bottom underside as well where the seal of the cool fat is. So when the faggots are nicely brown now, we're gonna take them out of the pan and put them into our casserole dish or braising dish. You can see the colour. 
real nice bit of uh, colour on the faggots. And then we're going to put the, the coloured side up, like so. That's the faggots to the side now to rest. We're going to keep this lovely faggot um, oil in the pan. That's got all the faggot flavour, all the fat that's come out of the uh, pork and out of the cold fat itself in the pan. We're going to keep that. And then the onions that we sliced, we're going to add them. So all the faggot flavours in the pan. We've added the onions and we're just going to add the lid just like we did last time for the base. And we're going to let the onions steam inside that pan and colour really, really lightly. Again. Layering the base flavour up of the, the gravy. So lid on, I'm gonna leave them for around about six to eight minutes and we'll just stir them intermittently just so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, it's been about 10, 12 minutes now. Uh, onions can take between eight, 12 minutes, just keeping an eye on them. Once they're nicely caramelised down like this, perfect almost like hot dog style onions we're gonna we braise them down in the uh, faggot fat that was left over in the pan uh, really tasty fat from the cool fat uh, cook the onions down it's been about 12 minutes and that's what they look like nice and caramelized nice and brown and that is real real flavor in the base of the gravy the next stage we're gonna take some plain flour and add it to the pan. So in the pan is the excess fat. The flour's just adding to that and now it'll make a little paste with the onions. And that's gonna help thicken the stock when we put it into the pan. So we're making like a traditional British style gravy. We're gonna let that cook out for a couple of minutes just so that flour's uh, cooked into the onions and the fat. And we just spread it out so it's even. Next, you're gonna pour in the stock. There's about 500 milliliters of stock. Stock's gone in. Now, what's gonna happen? We're gonna bring it up to the boil. And that flour in the onions is gonna thicken the gravy. So you can use beef stock, um, stock cubes that works really well um, go for any flavor you want like I suggested earlier pork chicken uh, whatever you've got in the cupboard so the gravy is now boiling simmering away and that flour is going to get cooked out in the stock what I mean by that is we don't want any chalky floury taste in our mouth so we check that by tasting the gravy I can see there it doesn't taste the flour. If it does, leave it in the pan a little bit longer. So we turn it down because we don't want to lose too much volume because it is going to go into the oven as well. The next thing is malt vinegar and some brown sugar. That's going to help acidulate the vinegar, give it a nice little backbone of acidity and sweetness from the sugar. And again, depth of flavor. So we stir them in. will be a lot, another stage of this gravy when it goes into the faggots and the faggot flavour is going to flavour it even more. Um, so once we're happy with this seasoning now, it's really good. We're going to take the faggots in our casserole dish and pour the gravy over the top. So we take the gravy with the onions, the malt vinegar, brown sugar, Pour it over the faggots in the casserole dish. And there they are, faggots ready for the oven. Okay, the gravy's finished. Pour it over the finished faggots. They've been sealed off. We take a little bit of foil. This is gonna help with steam and help to get the, uh, the heat into the tray and the faggots and slowly cook them. We carefully wrap the tray in foil. Before we set the oven to 160 degrees or gas mark four, and we're just going to slide them into the oven. 
Faggots are gonna take around an hour to slowly braise at 160 gas mark four, and then we can get onto the vegetable garnish. Okay, our faggots are just gonna come out the oven now and they're gonna have a little time to rest. And we can add the finishing touches to the dish. We're gonna reheat some mushy peas, any kind of mushy peas will do, your favorite, uh, and season them with a little bit of salt and some black pepper. So we've just got them on low. You can make your own mushy peas or you can buy them, whatever you prefer. So a little bit of salt, I prefer to season them as well because I like to season all my own food. And we're just gently heating them through on the stove. Some black pepper, because it goes really well with the faggots. If you remember, we put it into the actual faggots themselves. Stir that through. A little check. That's great. That can just stay warm on really low on the stove. Next to it, we've got some boiling water with a little bit of salt. And now we're gonna cook what I mentioned before, the Swiss chard stems. The stems have so much juice, so much flavor, and they're so, so good for you. Uh, these have come from a local Birmingham allotment. Um, it's, it's plentiful, it's perennial, it keeps coming. So this is a really, really good vegetable to eat at this time of year. So we're gonna just cook that in the water with the salt for around about two minutes. And that's gonna bring out all of the juice that's inside the char. And they're the two garnishes that are gonna go really, really nicely with our faggots and our gravy. Really light way of eating faggots without any carbohydrates, just vegetables and these lovely, lovely cheap cuts of meat made into a faggot, a Birmingham classic. Okay, now the best bit. The faggots have came out of the oven. They're perfectly cooked, braised really slowly in the gravy and you can see all the faggot flavors have come out into the uh, gravy now. All of the cold fat has, has shrunk back to the meat, so you can't even know it's there, you can't see it, you won't be able to taste it. It's just harnessing all that amazing faggot flavor inside. So we're just gonna just spoon over some of the gravy just to keep them really shiny and moist over the top of the faggots. And you can see how that's thickened up by cooking it really slowly at 160 gas mark four in the oven and really, really nice, shiny gravy to put on our, uh, all over our faggots. Last thing to do is taste the gravy. Perfect meatiness, porkiness, a uh, nice little bit of acidity from the malt vinegar that we added, which is key to that, in my opinion. Try it. Now, the mushy peas, we just gently heated them, added some salt, pepper, and we're gonna start by spooning them on the plate first. This is a true Birmingham classic, uh, Black Country classic. A lot of the, the pubs over in the Black Country still serve this, uh, this amazing dish. Then, we're gonna place a faggot either side of the mushy peas. So you can see all the onions stuck to the meat uh, and you've got the lovely mushy peas there, one of my faves, and then the Swiss chard stems, we just cooked in water for once, two minutes, drained, discarded the water, and then just put them into a sieve, drain the water, and here we are, just cooked Swiss chard stems. So we're just gonna dot them in and around for some beautiful, healthy flavor and color. And then, the gravy, the best bit. We're gonna spoon that over. as much or as little as you like. And this is our Birmingham faggots with mushy peas and Swiss chard stems.